set an intention for your time in your yogic space and your yogic mind. Deepen the breath. Let the breath fill the intention. As you exhale, begin the process of letting go. Okay. This practice is about releasing our worldly concerns and coming into our infinite nature. That's why we, 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 why we begin our chant with Ang. Ang has the same meaning as Om, and it's about connecting to the infinite, the infinite creative energy, which is abundant, which is full of opportunities. The Namo in the chant is bowing in reverence to that infinite energy. And there's, um, there's a quality of love, right? We're doing this with love. So when you chant Namo, chant it with love. Ang Namo, I bow lovingly to the infinite creative energy, allowing it to fill my life. Guru Dev Namo, I bow lovingly to the Guru Dev, the divine bringer from darkness to light. That Guru Dev lives in your heart. Today's set will be opening and clearing the energy of the heart to allow more and more of that infinite energy inside. Okay. We'll chant it loud and long three times. Bring the hands together, rub the palms. Cultivate an inner smile. It's Monday morning and we have the blessing to do yoga together. Hands connect at the sternum, elbows lift slightly, shoulders relax down the back. Sitting alert and relaxed. Full breath together in and out. Inhale to chant. Um. pelvic floor, gently drawing in at the rectum and the low belly, gazes up to the forehead. Exhale, relax. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, breathe out, lift and hold. Inhale and release. Bring the hands down to the knees and gently counterclockwise start to rotate the hips.
Sinking it, so as you inhale, you're rotating forward, exhale, rotating back. Reverse direction. Return to center, deep breath in, lift the lock, gazes up, exhale, relax. Stretch the legs out in front, pop the knees. Hmm. And let's come up to stand. I'll put the tunes on in just a moment. Stand so you all can see me. So we'll do our three spinal warm ups, starting with twisting the main thing in a small space. Make sure you're not gonna ooh, slam against the wall. So make sure you are uh, got clearance for your wings. And go, soft bend in the knees. Twisting from the waist, letting the arms fly through the air.
center, take an inhale. Release the breath. Feel the life in the spine. Step the feet closer together. If you can do this with toes touching, toes touch. Um, if that's a little wonky on your balance, you can step the feet apart. We're going for the side to side stretch. So inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Keep going side to side with your deep breath. Belly is firm to support the low back. turn sideways just for the demo on this. Feet can come back to hip width apart. Lift and spread the toes to activate the muscles in the legs. Set those nice wide toes back down. And soften the knees. Your inhale, firm the belly, lift root lock as you rise up. If you're more flexible, you can come back a smidge. Exhale, release the pose. So inhale up. You can even hold the breath a moment or two here and exhale down. Please continue.
Breath in through the nose, breath out through the mouth. Ah. Breathe into the backs of the legs, let it go. Ah. Gently bend your knees, make your way down to sit. <clears throat> Come in, can do a few more forward folds. So sit with your legs out in front of you. And if you're sitting in a way that is um, a little slouchy, you can sit up on your pillow to give you a little more height. Feet are flexed, legs are straight, our um, shoulders relaxed. If you're very flexible, you can just reach your toes right away. You can come into that. Otherwise, hands are on the legs. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Keep that going. Inhaling up, exhaling down. You're welcome as you do this to use the mantra, sat as you inhale, nam as you go down. Sat, meaning the truth of your being. Nam, again, bowing in reverence and love to that truth. Continue, please. Be mindful of the low back, right? Don't push it. You're still warming up. Computer, so that's why I keep having to scoot back and forth. It's all part of the workout, for me at least. Okay, legs are wide. We're going to do um, a similar thing in forward folding. And if you can have your arms more forward, even squeezing the toes, that's fine, not essential. You're inhaling to center, exhale, turn and lengthen down. Inhale back to center, exhale, turn and lengthen down. Right, getting some stretch of the adductors here. Feet are flat, best they can be to stretch the muscles of the calves. Okay, as you're ready, begin. Inhale, center, exhale, turn and come down. Inhale, center, exhale, down to the other side. Staying somewhat forward. Why Guru, why Guru, why Guru, why Gio, why Guru, why Guru, why 
It's time for the opportunity and green energy set. Um, the set, the main function, as I was saying earlier, it clears and cleans the energy of the heart field. So everything that's been holding you back that you may or may not be conscious of, that gets released. Maybe not everything, a lot of it gets released, okay? <laughs> or your money back. So um, <clears throat> come on to your knees if possible. And again, if that's tough, you can have that pillow between your calves and your thighs. If being on the knees is just too difficult for your knees, that's fine. You can be in a cross-legged seat. We will be using that mantra, Sat, as you inhale, truth, Nam, as you bow to your being. <clears throat> Sat, chest is forward, Nam, chest goes back. So when you do this, your eyes can be closed. You're gazing at the forehead point. You're chanting to yourself, Sat, Nam, Sat. No. Again, silent chanting. Please begin.
Come to center, deep inhale. Lift the root lock. Now exhale. Lift the root lock, hold the breath out. Inhale, lift the lock. Exhale out, lift again. And again, I'm squeezing at the rectum, lifting pelvic floor, belly in. Inhale, reassert that lock and exhale. All the air out, lock in and up. Hold that breath out. Inhale and release the pose. Stretch the legs out. Hmm. Stay contained and aware. So time for some good old fashioned body drops. So be sure you are um, fully on the mat. Your hands will be next to you. For some of us with shorter arms, it might be easier to be on your fists. Um, for me, my long arms mean I keep my palms down. I'm firming the belly and I'm lifting off the floor and dropping down. If you're menstruating, you get a pass on this, but you really wanna keep the energy moving up. So if you're struggling with this or if you're menstruating, just think about lifting that root lock and setting it down, lifting and setting it down. So the purpose of this is to stimulate the energy at the base of the spine. Go ahead, begin. So if you can lift up, even if your heels don't get up, even if you just lift your bum a little bit, even if you're lifting it in your mind only, lift and drop. Stimulating the energy to come up. Keep going. Put some music on to support this. Another deep breath in and out. Okay. Really starting to wake up the energy now. We're going to continue that with breath of fire. Breath of fire, quick review is this diaphragmatic breath. So when you breathe out, your belly presses the air out of the lungs. Your diaphragm does, but your belly moves in out through the nose. 
And then the inhale happens naturally. For this, your arms will be out in front, projecting energy from the heart. Hands are clasped with the index fingers pointing forward. People identifying as female, your left is on top. So my left thumb is on top of my right. And people identifying as male, my, uh, okay, can't hear me over the music. Can you hear me now? <laughs> like that cell phone commercial. Is everyone having a bad time staying connected today? Uh, how's the connection out there for folks? If anyone else is having a problem with connection, just um, type in. Looks like there, some folks are okay. So it could be this uh, little baby blizzard we're having. I will try not to speak over the music. Okay, so arms out in front. Guys have the right thumb over. Ladies have the left thumb over. And we'll do breath of fire. Ooh, one more thing. You're giving me a squat. So feet are wide. And you can be in a squat like this if that's better for your knees. But if you can, you're going for it. Big old squat, right? Like Indian dudes playing dominoes kind of squat. Arms are, I don't actually know if Indian guys play dominoes. Arms are out in front. Arms are straight, but pluck the shoulder blades back. In this shape, let's come into our breath of fire. So regardless of the shape that your body's in, your focus on projecting energy from the heart forward. Use your breath of fire to really juice up that energy. Bring your hands down to support you as you slowly straighten up. Shake out the legs as needed. Mm. Mm. Now, really get into that heart space and get the um, cardiac energy moving. We're going to run in place. You're welcome to use breath of fire for this. So doing that as you take one arm forward, opposite knee up, 
pull it back. So forearms are staying parallel to the ground. And go. Breath of fire and running or marching in place, Yogi's Choice. Keep those knees lifted nice and high. Side, the prana shakti, the life force energy. This energy is infinite. And certain exercises allow us to taste it more. Right? And as your nervous system gets stronger, you can withstand more and more energy. Right? So some of these poses that we think are there to torture us are just there to make our nervous system stronger. So with that in mind, we come to our next pose, Kundalini Lotus. For Kundalini Lotus, we will balance on our bum and Legs are wide, just as they were on the floor. You can have your arms under them with the legs stretched, or the full pose is to hold the toes, straighten the legs, keep the chest up, and come into breath of fire. If it's too much to have them, you can have the hands here. Try to keep the legs straight and wide. Heart stays up. Come into your breath of fire now.
going, keep the shoulder blades drawing down the back. If the knees have to bend, that's fine. Just stay up the best you can. This is funneling energy into the solar plexus. We're on the home stretch. Keep stretching up through the spine. Now, stay in position, deep breath in. Hold the breath in, lift the rear lock, lift energy up your spine. Energy coming up the spine to the head. Hold more. And exhale, release down. Take some relaxing breaths in and out. awareness of sensation in the body. For the next pose, <clears throat> we'll be chanting. And as before, the chant will be ung, and then we'll chant so hung. So hung is I'm identifying fully with ung. I'm identifying with my infinite nature. You're going to sit on your left heel, if possible. And again, you can use a pillow to support and your right foot is coming up onto the left thigh. Okay, this is the pose. You see, I already have my pillow to support my knee. If this is too much, I can have my foot down here. If it's really too much, I can have this leg out straight. Okay, so modify as needed, but the pose is to sit on the heel. That's stimulating the root energy. Right, right there. So your heel is just inside the sitting bone, right where the action happens. And then the other foot is up this way, right? Again, if it's causing discomfort in the knee, modify, because we'll be here a couple minutes. The hands will be cupped below the navel and we'll chant together. Take a deep breath in and out. Inhale to chant with me. Um, so long. Um, so long. Um, so long. Um, so long. Um, so hum. 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 Um, so hum, hum, so hum, hum, so hum, hum, so hum, hum, 
soham ham soham ham soham ham soham ham soham ham Um, so hum. Deep breath in. Lift up with the root. Exhale, relax, hands down. Untangle yourself. And stretch the legs out. Stay connected to the heart space. Great. Let the energy be free. <clears throat> so because our arms are linked energetically to the heart, we'll be working with our arms and hands for much of the rest of the set. We'll start with the arms straight out, palms up. All right, when you do this, note the shoulders, they're not like this, they're like this. Ah, nice and relaxed. We'll be doing breath of fire here and we'll be feeling the energy coming in the left hand through the arms and the heart out the right hand and arcing up over the head. So this is a visualization of energy. If you're a visual person, if you're more kinesthetic and can feel that energy moving or both, but that's what we're going for here. So arms are out, come into your breath of fire. Focus on that energy moving in the left, out the right, arching over the head. Keep going, arms stay strong. You're doing great. Arms stay in place, inhale deeply, deeply, hold the breath in, lift the lock, feel the energy continue to move. In the left, out the right. Exhale, arms come down.
Where do you feel the effects? What's been opened up? If you need to stretch your legs between any of these poses, that's just fine. We will be <clears throat> seated again. And um, there was a question about this one the other day. We're bowing from the waist. So if you can't bow all the way to the floor, please don't strain and try to do that. Just do your best. Hands are gonna be in Venus lock, that crossed fingers, ladies, left is on top, left thumb is on top. Guys, right thumb is on top, behind your neck. Well, again, use that mantra, Sat Nam. So your Sat is your inhale, Nam, come down. Inhale, thinking Sat, exhale, Nam. Keep going. Holding from the waist so the spine stays long. Keep the mantra rolling, sat as you inhale, nam as you exhale. Next time you come up, fill up with breath, hold a moment, release, soften where you can, stretch if you need to. Let me go stay sideways to demo this next one. I'm gonna come into some arm lifts. I find this to be very strong in the heart. So, um, the arms are straight out in front, palms are down. Shoulders stay relaxed. Inhale, one arm comes up to about 60 degrees. Exhale it down. The other arm comes up and down. Breathe as quickly as you can. It's almost like a breath of fire. So it looks like this. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, I'll put some music on to keep us moving here. Go ahead, arms out in front. Firm in the belly to support the back and go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Keep going.
Feeling the heart and the space around the heart. Notice if that area is expanded. Really good work, everyone. Stretch your legs. We're coming into the first of, I would say, three meditations. But we'll take breaks between. For the first meditation, all this energy here is going to go up here. So to do this work, stay rooted. Pull the low belly in. Pull the shoulder blades down. Because the hands are interlacing above the head. So set your hands on the crown of your head. Bring them up about four inches. Roll the eyes up as if you were looking out the crown of the head. And come into breath of fire. So your mental energy is looking out the top of the head. Breath of fire. Keep going, relax the shoulders down the back, even as the arms are up. Now keep the arms up, breathe in deep. Stretch just the um, pointer fingers up. So my hands are interlaced, my pointer fingers are up. Breathe in deep, hold the breath a moment. 
Breathe out deep. Hold the breath a moment. Keep that pattern. Breathe in, hold, breathe out, hold. Gaze is looking out the crown of the head. Elbows are back behind you, almost pulling back. Relax where you can as you maintain the pose. Let the breath feed you. Let the breath strengthen you in this posture. Last part of this meditation, take the fingers, tips together, palms apart. So you're forming a little teepee or a steeple over your head. Gaze is up, come back to your breath of fire. Almost finished, keep going. Where's the energy now? So 
Our next meditation is called Green Energy Production. Since it is a snowy day here in New England, we will use our imagination for this because this is a meditation on the color green. Green is associated with the heart chakra. Obviously, it is the substance chlorophyll that contributes to our lives. I don't know how we'd survive without chlorophyll, but I'll leave that inquiry for another time. And because it is um, part of our abundance, we'll use the manifestation mantra with it. As you can see, I have our manifestation mantra. Today, we're gonna skip this part. And the mantra is Hari, 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 Har. Hari, 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 Har. All right, this gets into the creative aspect of infinity. Releasing our obstacles. When you, every time you make that hot sound, hot, hotty, hotty, hot, navel's going in. Okay. So navel's going in. You're visualizing green, everything you can think of that's green. And the arms are up in a blessing. So make this relax. Shoulders relax, palms in front. Getting ready to receive all these blessings. Deep breath in and out, chanting from the heart, moving the navel. Let's begin. Hari, 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 Har. 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 Hari 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 Har 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 Hari 
hari hari har hari 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 har hari 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 har hari 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 har hari 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 har hari 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 har hari 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 har hari 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 har hari 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 har hari 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 har last round hari 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 har deep breath in exhale relax the hands down thumbs and forefingers touch on your lap sit in a shower of green energy and that green energy brings a stream of gratitude as quickly as you can think of something you're grateful for think of something else that you're grateful for keep going so don't let your mind dwell just keep the blessings rolling you can repeat things keep the people the things whatever it is you're grateful for keep them rolling non-stop flow of gratitude As you're ready, make your way onto your back or your Shavasana. Relaxing onto the floor. You'd like to use that pillow under your knees, under your head. Get as comfy as you can. Cultivating gratitude for the earth for supporting us as we rest and work and play. The comments of this set read that this set attracts opportunities and opens the heart center. And allows you to approach prosperity from a heart centered consciousness or plane of attraction. This consciousness can be summarized as follows. The more I open myself, the more I can attract. I don't need to struggle. 
I have the ability to attract opportunities. Start realizing that opportunities and prosperity can come in different forms than you've previously imagined. Believe that you deserve prosperity and that the infinite source loves you. Take these minutes to rest with love for ourself, love for the infinite source, and gratitude. Face is soft.
Find your breath. Breathe in deep. Let all of the air go. Start to circle out the wrists and the ankles. Turn the head side to side. As you're ready, stretch the leg, stretch the arms up over the head. Deep breath through the nostrils, deep breath out with a sigh. Ah. When you're ready, hug the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Rock from front to back. And rock up to sit. Ooh. When you get back to a seated position and rub the palms rather vigorously, kind of a nice way to wake up. Whew. Okay. You'll close with the Long Time Sun song, which we'll sing twice. So if you're not so sure of the words, join us on the second round. We'll close then with a long sot and a short calm. So hands together, spine is tall. Deep breath in and out. Inhale to sing. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you. Guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you. Guide your way on. Guide heart and soul bring you all good things. So enjoy the opportunities that come your way, even the hidden ones that might seem like challenges. May you embrace them all. May you rise to them all. May all of us learn to live in peace, peace, perfect peace. Satnam, everybody. Thank you for practicing today. I will unmute one moment and scoot up to the old machine here.